Hi there, welcome to the video. Today I'm going to show you how to fix this blue screen of death you might be getting on your machine. Hope you find this guide useful. If you do, please help me out by subscribing to my channel. Okay, so we need to troubleshoot this blue screen of death. So there's two or three things we need to look at. At the top here, IRQ not less or equal. Um, I know that that error, if you Google it, it, it basically means that the operating system has tried to write something to memory and that has failed and that's what's caused this blue screen of death down the bottom here the stop code so the stop and then this this code here and then sometimes underneath it you um, have the file name listed that's caused the crash uh, but we don't actually have that here so i know that this is going to be related to some sort of driver issue in your machine so if you on your desktop if you click on the start menu type in device then the device manager application should show so just left click on there now we need to do two things we need to update the drivers of the display adapter and also the network adapters so here we can see that I've got an Intel Pro 1000 MT desktop adapter so if you just google that and type in driver at the end um, go to the Intel website and download the latest driver if I just right click on here and go to properties if you click on driver so this is the version that we've got 8.4.13 um, if you just go to the Intel website download a newer driver then what you need to do is if you then right click here update driver software you could try doing search automatically um, but that will search just the Microsoft website um, it might find the driver there uh, but it's probably best if you've downloaded it from the Intel website just to click here uh, to browse and then browse to where you've downloaded the file to click next and then just follow the prompts to install the latest driver so if you do that for the network adapter and then the display adapter so if you update the drivers and then reboot your machine uh, if you're still getting a problem what you can do is come back into the device manager here right click and click on uninstall and then here if you just right click uninstall and then if you restart your machine uh, what that will do is that will automatically uh, remove all the drivers uh, the software and all the settings from your machine and then when you reboot it will automatically reinstall those drivers so that driver will then be reinstalled uh, from fresh if you're still getting problems after that if you install a windows update so on my machine here if you left click there and then click on settings go to update um, i'm in the process of running windows update but you'll have a check now um, so just click on check now and then download and install all of the latest um, Microsoft fixes um, if that doesn't work I've got one more thing for you to do if you open up file explorer click on this PC and then on your C drive here if you just right click go to properties click on tools and under error checking click check and then here it's just saying uh, yeah okay because I've scanned it recently it's asking me if I want to do it again click on scan drive um, it might ask you to reboot uh, if it does it will reboot and then it will run the check disk or error checking on the next reboot before you get to the desktop and that will fix any corrupt files that you might have in your machine because that could be causing the blue screen of death as well okay if you've got any questions on this process um, please post it in a comment below and I'll help you out if you need it. But thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.